Yeah. yeah. Instead of starting at, at half, halfway after the halftime show. Cool. Yes. Absolutely. Well, let's uh, let's let's have a little chat, shall we? Sounds great. Sounds you may really as well excited. get used to having the media in your face. It's a fun thing to do. Okay. So tell me your name. Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, first name is Dewitt. Last name is Lee. Okay. And you have just registered. Tell me why. Why are you doing this? Well, you know, actually, the question changes, the answer changes um, every time I get a new reason, you know, and the city is so inspiring um, that every day I see a new purpose um, to step up and to serve in this capacity as mayor. Um, but last year, there was a um, why I wanted to. This year is more why I have to, okay? Because the people who um, we have engaged over the last four years, um, you know, really believe that we are going to be at the core of change and that we have to do it from the top down with, and, while they're working from the bottom up. And are you uh, looking at this change because of our current mayor? Well, you know what? I, I say that, you know, that p p position right now is not the root of our issues. Excuse me, it's, it's just the fruit of our issues. Um, so I believe that um, from top down, you know, there's a lot of changes that need to be made. And I, I'm hoping that a lot of it's just attitude adjustment. And I believe that sometimes just the morale of a, of a team can bring down the, productive, the productivity of the positions. So I truly believe that, I'm hoping that it's not gonna require an actual seat change, um, but if that's the case, if it has to be that extreme, then um, I don't think anyone is, is safe. You've done this before, so what did you learn that will help you this time around? Um, well, this time around, um, I certainly learned that the city um, has tremendous amount of um, resolve, the citizens of the city, um, and that they have tremendous amount of creativity, and that we want that a campaign should not be about um, someone trying to get a job, okay? Because to me, that's a lot of wasted time and a lot of wasted money. Okay, we're trying to inspire, uh, these many people are here today not because I want a job, but because we want change to come. And I found out that throughout a campaign, you can impact the community, you can inspire people, you can hire people, and you can do things that are gonna have a positive ripple effect and a lasting effect through the campaign. So we're making sure that everything that we do leaves a, f a fingerprint of real change and, and, and of real um, development. And so that's what we're focusing on, and that's what I've learned from the last campaign, that even though we finished, you know, um, 11 spots away from the first spot, or, or I should say 12, but um, we still made a difference, and that's what has inspired me through this last four years, to continue to serve. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, what's your name? Bro? Chris. I mean, follow you on Chris. Twitter, Chris. I just want to say one thing. We're going to make sure that he is always at the discussion table whenever there's all candidates meeting. Okay. It's just going to be the four. It's never going to be everyone. Well, we're going to Everybody. Because that's what we want. Diversity. Be inclusive. Diversity is that's, our strength. That, that seems fair. Yeah. And, 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 I think, yeah. and I think we, um, you know, it, it, was, it was a difference when in July when I showed up and I had my signs let me in at the debates. You know, we were let me in, let me in, and, I, and you know, we were starting from, from out of nowhere. Right. Um, but I still felt that the voices that I represented and, and the, um, the, the issues that I stood for deserve to be represented in those discussions. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to be, not because I felt like, hey, I'm a candidate and I deserve to be there, but because the people who want me to speak on their behalf right. need to be heard. So, right. um, but in this case. That's democracy, right? But it starts with you guys. I mean, you know what? It's, it's up to our media, right, to be able to, you know, at least extend that kind of, that kind of, that commitment to diversity. Absolutely. And, um, you know, so you, you're certainly um, going to be engaged in and held accountable, just like we're not in history. This is the first yeah. interview. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, you know, I just wanted to write that.